Okay, today I want to show you the difference between doing a dedicated alignment, such as this, where you have fixtures or pins or whatever in the table so that when you bring your part in, you have a dedicated alignment. The difference between the dedicated and just slapping it anywhere on the table alignment. So let's talk about some advantages. So if you've got a part that you're going to be checking multiples and multiples and multiples of, and you don't feel like having to align it each time, you will have a dedicated alignment. Something that will put it on the granite table, grid table, whatever you're using, in a dedicated spot every time. So this is good for production purposes. <clears throat> the type of alignment where you just throw it anywhere on the table and do it, that's kind of good for one-offs. Uh, if you're only going to be checking it, um, you know, one or two here or there, and you want to save the program so the next time you come back and run this part, you don't have to worry about finding your fixture, finding your dots, finding your points, finding your dedicated spot on this granite table here. So the first thing we want to do is just show you um, slapping it down on the table anywhere. You've, you ran this part, you ran it six months ago, you saved the program, but you don't have a clue where in the world you put it on the table. So we've written this program for this type of alignment. So let's go ahead and run this program. And I can show you some of the differences. So this program, the first thing it's going to do is, call, is going to tell you to let's start getting our alignment done. So we're going to work on the plane. We're going to do a plane line line. So let's, we're going to, this not in CNC mode, I'm physically having to take my points because, sorry, forgot to put in measure, because we don't know where on this table we did this last time. So I'm having to basically tell the machine where the part is. So there's the plane. It just did, switched over. It's telling me to do my front line. I'm not going to show the software, but trust me. So I'm doing my front line. Now we are going to have to be careful in going the same directions that we went when we did the original alignment. Keep forgetting to put it in measure. Now it's telling me to do my side line. And once I take, oops, man, I'm terrible about that today. Once I take my last hit, it's going to drop into CNC mode and it's going to come up and all this program I'm doing is just measuring that hole and this hole. Well, actually what it's going to do, I'll show you. As soon as I take that hit, it's going to drop into, into CNC mode. Now, it's redoing my alignment. Let's slow it down so I can talk about this thing. Why is it redoing my alignment? So I took my alignment by hand. It's always good to go back and let the machine redo your alignment because I've got the parameters hit for a certain hit speed each time. So it takes my variations in my hand movements out of it. It's, allow it's doing all the hits per the machine speeds instead of my hand speed. So you get a better alignment. So it just redid it. Now it's measuring two holes. And that's all that program is. Now to prove to you that I can set this thing anywhere, let's go back and rerun this program. Alright, it's going to tell me, I just moved it over here, I'll tell you what, let's move it down here. Let's come back, I just, again, it's been six months, 
I set it on the table. I have no idea where I set it before, but I know my program works. So now I'm taking my initial alignment, plain line line, and once I take this alignment, all right, come up, measure the front. As soon as I take my alignment, the machine will drop into a realignment at CNC. So it'll get a, in a sense, a more accurate alignment using the machine rather than my hands. All right, now it's gonna take off. Now it's gonna machine alignment or CNC. Some crazy go-to points I've got in there. Measure the two holes. Now I would have multiple measurements if I was really writing a program for this part. So I let, I wrote this program so that I can put this anywhere on here and rerun it and it'll measure those two holes. Now let's talk about dedicated alignments. The neat thing about dedicated alignments is um, for production purposes, you don't have to do anything here. You've told it, you can write in your program, put the pins at, at row 18X and 17Y, you can tell it to do that. You can take a picture and put it in the program. Here, I just wrote the program. I'm gonna, let me switch and run one with a dedicated spot. Just run it. So it's dedicated in this same spot every time we run it. So the machine is doing the alignment. I don't have to do anything. I got go to points to jump over my, my pins. Start, it goes in and measures the two holes. So naturally, this program is quicker because I don't have to sit here and fool with my hands on it. Um, I just stick it in there, press to go. Stick it the next one in there, press it. You can even write this software where it'll re-loop like a M30 on a program, rewind and start again. And it'll just, in it, well, you can just feed parts in there and you don't have to do any of this. So the advantage of the dedicated alignment is for high production. The advantages of writing it to where you physically align it first is that you can put it anywhere on this table six months from now, a year from now, you rerun the program, you, you just tell it, you put it on the table, do your first alignment, it takes off and does over. So you, the big question is you have to ask yourself, how often am I gonna run this part and I'm, am, am I gonna check it for production purposes? I hope that explains the difference between a dedicated alignment and an alignment you just stick on the machine anywhere.